Hello there, welcome to FOMO. My name is Paul Tranny, and these are things that you might have missed out on. Well, guess what? We have Photoshop on the iPad. That's what I'm gonna share with you right now. I have it loaded right here. We can see a number of my cloud documents available on my desktop, right? I can pick up where I left off. I'll open up this file, right? And introduce you to Photoshop on the iPad. We can see tools on the left, layers on the right. Guess what? I'll just do a little pinch and zoom. Zoop. There we are. We could see those layers. This looks like my desktop version. I can maybe turn on that layer, right? And I can see this nice little turtle. And I can kind of pinch and zoom in on it and start selecting it. And guess what? I can go ahead and press on those tools. We have additional tools, like on the desktop. And I can select the quick selection tool and just kind of scrub over. This is so easy with my Apple Pencil, selecting those pixels. But what am I doing? I'm selecting similar pixels. Wouldn't it be nice? If there was functionality for that, you can see they're down at the bottom, you get additional options for your tools. Select similar, boom, there we have it. And then I can clean this up more or I could hit the F key and get different views. I like this view because I could really see that nice contrast between what's selected and what isn't and really kind of clean that up like so and switch back as well. That's pretty good. What do we want to do next? Make it a layer mask. We could do that just as easily. There it is, layer mask. We can work on color correction just like we would on the desktop because we have additional properties that we can access for that layer. What do we want to do? We want to shift it from yellow, the color balance that is, from yellow zoop, over into the blue because he is underwater just like that. Last thing I'm going to show you really fast is this little fish. Let's turn it on. There it is. There's that little fish just hanging out. And I want to show you this option. It is the touch shortcut. If I hold that down, I can constrain the fish, its movement, right? And if I drag this out, it says duplicate. Well, yeah, I want to duplicate that fish and make a bunch of fish, a whole school of them. And that's what that touch shortcut does. Changing that to overlay, maybe soft light, maybe darken. Ah, multiplies what I want. And there you have it. Photoshop on the iPad. This is all being saved in the background. I can continue working on my desktop, but that is Photoshop for the iPad. Check it out today. It's a lot of fun. Thanks.